Honourable Minister of Education and Early Childhood Development. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I rise today to encourage all members of the Legislative Assembly and all Islanders to celebrate diversity and to work together to put an end to bullying. Today is the International Day of Pink, a day to bring awareness to the issues of bullying, discrimination, homophobia, and transphobia in our communities. Discrimination comes in many forms, and no one should have to experience the negativity created by discrimination. We know that bullying isn't just a school issue. It may have been seen by some of the students here today. Families, communities, students, teachers, and government all need to be involved in solutions. We need to work together to promote an open, accepting, and respectful society, not just on Day of Pink, but every day. The Right Honourable Mikhail Jean, former Governor General of Canada, said, we will stop bullying, verbal abuse, violent intimidation, and knee-jerk hatred for differences by creating and nurturing a culture of respect a culture of nonviolence, and a culture of curiosity for the other. Our school curriculum helps students make well-informed choices about their own well-being and the well-being of others. We help students develop positive relationships and recognize the effects of bullying. Individual schools also offer programs and initiatives to support bullying awareness. Students and staff at the Three Oaks Senior High celebrate inclusiveness through their climate crew. This group of students promote anti-bullying messages to others year-round. Every school day is a day of pink for these students, and I encourage all Islanders to follow this example. We should celebrate diversity in our schools, communities, organizations, and workplaces every single day. Day of pink is more than just, a, than just about celebrating diversity. It's also a commitment to being open-minded, accepting differences, and learning to respect each other. For more information, please visit the website at www.dayofpink.org. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Minister.